So some folks say it takes years for coral to grow. This here is what we call a rosy nubs. And it can grow over a week. It's a type of coral. And it adds a lot of weight to mackerel twine. And this here is growing over in about two weeks. Alright. The hot July. Oh, I can almost say four. The trap is full of them. Ugh. Now imagine that. <laughs> it's something about an eighth of an acre in size. Things get heavy. Things get heavy. Look. And these are little jelly balls. This is what we call a horse's arse. See, you squeeze them. Touch them to squirt some water. They're basically like a sea cucumber, right? Oh, messy. Oh, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Touch it. Squirt, squirt. Well, they're actually called a horse cock, but whatever. Ooh, they got me. So I'm just going to let this draw out. Because I don't know if these are natural or invasive or what. I'm waiting for a marine biologist to come and focus. Tell me what these are. They've been around here a long time, but uh, if they're anything like the alien thingies. Well, they didn't. the alien things didn't last long here, which is nice. Water's too warm. Yeah. Focus. Little barnacles growing on the end of them. Come on. I don't know what they're called technically, but we see them all the time on rope. Especially if it's left out in June or July. Anywho, I'm holding up my muscles. These little guys are in them. There was a bunch, there was a full, full, full blown eel in there. I was trying to get him out, but, uh, well, it looked like he slithered out through the crack, but he must slithered back into the muscles. He's fine, he's coming, he's back in there. So, it's a safe haven anyways. I got some new buddies from my aquarium. We'll see how she goes. Yeah, a little bit of east going on here. Oop, not to worry about. So I threw the scallop that was in there. Throw it back over the side here. They got the scallop as so we can keep this guy. He's down over here. Kind of see him down there, right? He's alive. Just keeping him strung up so the green crabs can't get at him. And hopefully, going to have some scallops around here because, like, we've seeded in a lot of mussels by doing what we're doing. We can come over and have a look at the side of the float. I should be able to stick my arm down over here and just go. Right? They're all spawn off of what I had in this crate which I got off of that buoy and there's a float over there with two of these crates sunk full so I can only imagine what kind of wildlife is in that we'll see how she goes step by step trying to bring them all back part time marine biology oh look a little squeagle <laughs>